And now to our major story. President Mohamed Obradi wants to borrow more money. Uh, they say it's for capital projects. The presidency says that uh, we shouldn't fret that this borrowing is not going to increase Nigeria's borrowing portfolio. Well, Nigeria's main opposition party is not convinced about that statement. The PDP believes the president is mortgaging Nigerian children's future. The party said they are shocked by the government's borrowing, insisting that it is needless and mindless. The PDP said, and I quote now, like all the well-meaning Nigerians, we consider this new bid for a foreign loan of $5.5 billion being sought by the administration of President Buhari as an attempt to push the nation down into the black hole of debt that will affect negatively the future of this nation. End of quote. I have joining me tonight Mr. Martin Onova, an oil and gas engineer, Consul, cons, engineering consultant and a former presidential candidate at the 2015 general election of the National Conscience Party, a NCP. Also joining this conversation, I have Ken Okolubo, a political analyst and a member of the PDP. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on the program. Thank you very the, much. The PDP did say, well, APC and the Buhari government is mortgaging the future of Nigeria. And when we wonder, how easy is it to run a capital... Uh, projects or capital projects like uh, uh, road infrastructure, rail, and all of that without major borrowing. Mr. Onovo. Well, uh, it is really easy because that's your question. How easy? <coughs> the first statement I would like to make is that there is no amount of money that is sufficient for the corrupt or for the prodigal. Get that very clear. No amount of money is sufficient for the corrupt. No amount of money is sufficient for the prodigal. The relevance of that into this? The government is deliberately misinforming and confusing the Nigerian people. Let us go back to the figures they cannot change because the government is used to presenting a document. You show the folly in the document, they withdraw it, present an, a different one. You have a budget of 7.4 trillion, thereabouts. Total estimated national revenue in the 2017 budget is 4.9 trillion, 4.99 something, 4.9 something. Now, that is a deficit of about 2.4 trillion, which you need to borrow. Right or wrong? Absolutely. Good. Now, in that same budget, capitalist expenditure is about 2.18. What does that tell you? You're borrowing more than what you require for your capital expenditure. What does that mean? You're borrowing to pay debt. What does that mean? You're already in a debt trap. You're not going to be, the PDP doesn't understand it. We're not heading to a debt trap. We're already in a debt trap. We are heading to a debt crisis. Is, 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 is borrowing, uh, and this will come to a question I will ask Mr. Okolubo, is borrowing a, 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 a problem or a mistake in, in the budgeting process or in an economy? It, it depends on the perspective you are going to look at it. You can't say borrowing is a mistake in any economy. But, uh, for example, the borrowing of $5.5 billion is it? has been sent to the Senate amounts to one trillion nine hundred and eighty billion naira. Let's just say two trillion naira. Now the budget says they can borrow two point three trillion. If you check what the GDP is, the GDP is uh, two point one eight, within two point one eight of the GDP. Now ask yourself where are we applying this borrowing? Apart from the Mambila Plateau, I have a problem with the one point four billion dollars that you're applying on the Lagos Ibadan railway project. Why do I have a problem with that? Fashola needs 25 billion naira to add up to the 10 billion he has paid for the Lagos Ibadan road. And now only 10 billion was released to Fashola by the Senate. And he cried foul about it. 72 billion was sitting down in the ministry, in the TSA account for the Ministry of Transportation for one year without utilizing the 72 billion. 
The 72 billion was supposed to be the counterpart funding for the 1.4 billion dollars that is needed from the China Exim Bank. Is that not a misplaced priority? No, because I mean, it, to me, it's my, a misplaced priority. Because why not give cash on that 25 I mean, are you, billion? Are you bothered? The 72 billion that was sitting down in the account of Ministry no, of no, no, Transportation, no, no. Is, is idle for one year. Is it, is it a crime to borrow? That's a, it's that's not a, a crime problem. to borrow, but yeah. I'm just showing you that the government has not laid its priorities in terms of borrowing. Even because with, when you borrow 1.4 billion and you're looking for 72 billion naira as counterpart funding, for a, a, a real line that you say you cannot commission until December 2018, of what impact is it going to be, in, rather than giving Fashola 25 billion naira, for him to complete the six lanes from Ibadan to Lagos Road and open up, opening up that whole stretch and completing the Shagamu to the uh, almost Ijebode end that has been completed from Ijebode to Benin of the Lagos uh, Benin Expressway. We're talking about priorities. We're not talking about boring. Don't forget that Lagos State Government. No, no, because, I mean, don't we forget are, that Lagos State Government now is has about, about six hundred and three billion. But we can see where Lagos State Government is putting in those funds into, and, and the and the results. That's exactly what I'm. I'm that's the comparison I'm trying to make in terms of looking at it on the scale of preference. I mean, Mr. Novo, if you look yes. at the projects that the federal government has put forward, uh, where they are putting some of these borrowings into, uh, and they've said that uh, they're going to use the money uh, into issues of uh, the Mamila uh, power railway. project, the rail issues, are those novel for you? you? You didn't listen to me. You must do infrastructure. There's no question about that. Do you have to borrow? I do not think so. Chief Dr. Obasanjo, GCFR, FNSE, during his tenure, got, out of, got us out of serious debt. How many years ago was that? Now you're rushing back into the debt. Let me quote Henry Boyo, because I like the way he put it. He said, Mumu smiles back into a debt trap. This is Mumurish. Uh, because you, you, Mumu, you contested Mumu to, be, you is, contested to yes. be a president Correct. in 2015, Correct. which, of course, you lost in that election. Don't say that again. You have said it before, and we, we didn't agree on that. No, but you say lost the election, no, 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 Mr. No, no. The election was rigged. Don't, don't go there. The 2015 election. Bring another. But yeah. you did not win. Either, no, either no, no, case, no. but you did not challenge The, the, the NPC did not win. And really? they know they didn't win. And they're in power. No, no, but it's a question. Okay. It's, this is science. Po politics is science. No, no, it, no, it is no, not, no, 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 not conjecture. No, 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 no. Okay. The, 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 question, I'm, the question I'm asking. Uh, 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 you can, you cannot discuss Nigeria and remove corruption. Okay. Let me ask That's you a question. Let me put the question straight to you. If you were to be Nigeria's president today, with all of the economic situation and the challenges that Nigeria faces right now, how would you tackle the project if you were a president without that, borrowing? Very simple. You have an over bloated, over bloated recurrent expenditure. We answered this question during our campaigns, but you chose to listen to who you wanted, who promised you four million houses. Show me one house. We told you we were going to cut down on recurrent expenditure and raise money for capital development. We told you that. Where? You, how? During how, the campaign. How, how would you raise It's very simple. You cut down your recurrent expenditure. How do you do that? You sack your people? You don't have to sack, you sack your people. Workers. How you, do you come you, down? You, you, don't go, you don't have uh, a national assembly which by law, by the Constitution of Nigeria, should be earning 2.5 uh, or 2 point something million dollars per annum. You have one person earning over 200 million per annum. That's one. You don't have a presidency that spends 3.6 billion in a year, in a sort of clinic, and you don't have syringes, and the x-ray machine is not working, what is wrong with you? The, 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 These things the, are simple. The, 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 no, no you're, 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 you're defending the yeah. ruling party. No, 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 I'm not and defending. You don't do that. I, I'm the moderator do that. of this program. You're and defending I'll, them. You don't and do that. I will put questions to you, Mr. Onovo. If they don't are put the question that we, we lost the election because you know the election no, was if, rigged. If that statement unsettles you, I mean, it's a fact, but I'm sorry it upsets you. But the, the question here... Let, here let's again. deal with the numbers. No, yeah, yeah, let, the figures let, are Let's deal with the numbers. And the fact remains that... Do you agree? The question is, how would you tackle this kind of problem? We have told you that you reduce recurrent expenditure. That's the first step. And you mentioned the National Assembly for That's only one side. Yeah. That's only and, one side. I mentioned that because that's popular. People will understand it faster. I also mentioned the Soror Clinic. Now, when you look at that budget, where the Office of Vice President is using $4 million to buy books in a year, look at the budget you're talking about. That budget 
we came to this your channel's TV, and we called the 2016 budget a budget of ruination in January. By June, the country went into a recession. By September, everybody was shouting. If you had listened to us when we were here, we wouldn't be in this mess. But we are out now. 